Holy cow. Wow. This is the aftermath of a crazy Christmas. And I'm on the base list. So why did Christmas be so bad? Yet even though St. Louis did get a white Christmas, but yet now this is the federal holiday, so nobody's still working that that they're not supposed to work, but uh except for the stores and stuff, but I can't get to a store because I only have seven dollars in my lift cash. <sighs> Let's talk about it. This is your lovable widower, Prince DJ. So you all know about what's been happening in the middle of Christmas, before Christmas, and now you're going to find out what happened after Christmas. So, I was supposed to have Christmas dinner yesterday, but due to find out that the Christmas dinner was supposed to come on Thursday, and then, the, mind you, the last time that I had Thanksgiving dinner, they only sent one meal, and it wasn't even a trim. It was just in a bag. It wasn't in a box. It was in a bag. One meal, one drink. Wasn't even enough to capture a full weekend. Nope, it wasn't. So, I'm still starving for another day, even though I have food stamped on me. I can't even get a Walmart delivery, possibly, until next, not not this week, but after the new fucking year. After the new year. Or I could just brave trying to slip on the ice, not to slip on the snow, trying to brave going out. On Wednesday, even though I had planned to do something else, but it might be another plan because I already got to get in for the, um, I've already got to get into the uh, uh, Live Good yearly plan so I don't have to wind up paying monthly. Then there's uh, that for that great work of uh, presentation I still got to pay $20 for. Then the rent, the Wi-Fi. I'm going to pay early because, yeah. Uh, I'm trying to not have it direct deposited to my bank because of what happened. I could either put it myself or now I can't put it in the phone, but that would be evolved more weight. Now I could still uh do check cashing over the phone, but it still evolved more weight, and that's the problem. And I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it's it's really ridiculous. This winter has crippled everybody. It's only early winter, and not only stranded. Thousands of t- t- thousands of travelers that was trying to get home for Christmas with their families or friends or significant others and whatnot. Thousands of people were still in the airport. And yet, there was more people without power. Probably some other people, like myself, couldn't even get a good Christmas meal. So, it's good to know that I wasn't the only one that was struggling on Christmas. Now, on the brighter side, I did have another people, uh, another person that uh, be a pre enrollee at the uh, Live Good, but that was only Christmas Eve, and that was at four o'clock, and I haven't gotten another enrollee since then. So so far, I'm only stuck with two. Come on, you don't want to miss out on this. It's gonna be it's gonna be saturated, but like I said on the ad uh earlier, this time at least it's good to set for saturation because it can help out the matrix. So but other than that, I'm on a nice list. I didn't even get anything, but I wasn't able to give people anything either. I mean this is ridiculous this is ridiculous. Although I did get caught a uh, 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 place in the uh, Will of Fortune, I told uh, Will of Fortune Tournament of Champions, I told her, you know, I'll give her that spot as a Christmas present. Got to think of something for Dr. Irene as, as well and for the others. But that's easy. That don't, that don't involve spending money. I mean, it's not even real money. That's easy. That's easy. I'm talking about, you know, money that you don't have, okay? Now, 
my rent money gonna be already spent already. I already, I'm doing plan on paper, you know when I'm when I'm going to plan to spend, but it's already spent. And then when I get back to ready to speak, okay, I still have to do the rest of the night at the hotel. I already paid for one hotel. I'm trying to see if I could go back to the uh, the host hotel for the rest of Podfest, and. Although I still could change my mind about the uh, the courtyard by Marriott, the one I'm staying in temporarily and already paid for, but I could still go back to the uh, uh, original Marriott, the Renaissance by Orlando Marriott, if there's still space available on the 25th. But I have that cushion. But otherwise, I'll see. I'll see what's going on. Because I thought they take their credit. I thought, I thought, I thought they take the credit card right away. Obviously, it turned out that they didn't. So, anyway, go figure that one. So, I'll figure out what's going down uh, probably later at the, after this podcast. And uh, also, now instead of scammers imitating my page and, you know, imitating my, imitating my page and trying to scam me instead of wanting to be the next first lady of Big D country, the first, uh, the next queen of Big D country. Now, I'm getting offers for people to escort me, but being that I had to pay, I had to pay. No, when I told them my situation and told them that there's sometimes I don't get anything to eat, I had to pay for escort. Me, Chris DJ, me. When I'm already getting ready to move out of state. And all that crap on in, in September, October, and the least. I mean, it's ridiculous. It's absolutely r- r- ridiculous. And then I also got to tell you that it was a tragedy that happened. Well, not necessarily a tragedy, but this is for travelers at Lambert Airport. If anything wasn't bad enough, but the uh, people can't get to where they're going. Now there was a leak. At Terminal 2, yes, Terminal 2, the same terminal that I leave because my favorite airline, Southwest, flies out of that terminal. A baggage carousel had a pipe leak. Yes, that's right. The baggage carousel had a pipe leak. Leak, I should say. Not leak, but. And you have the week sixteen, uh, week 17, 17 of the NFL pickup. So let's get started, shall we? So let's. I want. I want to start first with the the baggage since I already had the news. The rest is just easy. Okay. So, come on. Stop letting me stuck. Okay. Uh, and then I have to continue reading. Come on. I'm in the middle of a program. Come on. It's not letting me do anything. Okay. Here we go. First pipe. Now this was from. Uh, posted uh, yesterday, and it's updated today. So, uh, pipe burst causing luggage logistical nightmare at St. Louis Airport. Uh, This was from Fox 2 News uh, here in St. Louis. Uh, St. Louis on Sunday, staff at St. Louis Lambert International Airport delivered Christmas gifts to uh, anxious passengers in the form of luggage. Here's one passenger. My dad lives here, so I was trying to spend Christmas with him, but it's difficult when I have no clothes and there are gifts in here as well, uh, Brittany Brittany said. A burst for the pipe near the baggage carousel and Terminal 2 caused... uh, The video is blocking me. Uh, a burst water pipe near the baggage carousel in Terminal 2 caused a massive backlog of bags. The whole terminal, and I mean the whole terminal, is just hundreds of bags on the floor everywhere. And I've been in that, I've been in that, uh, luggage, ca- uh, area, baggage area in Terminal 2 all the time. All the time when I returned. Whether it's uh, when I'm returning from Podfest or Podcast Movement or going to my real home on a cruise ship or Vegas, it's always like that. I mean, it's ridiculous. Uh, so 
They said the uh, the whole terminal is just hundreds of bags on the floor everywhere. It's like ripped off. There is people standing around. Nobody know what's going on. Uh, uh, Brittany uh, shared chaos, and there is no real system to this. Uh, some people waited in line on the phone before heading to the airport. About two or three hours on hold, I found out my bag was here, a.k.a. the bag was at Lambert. Getting it was quick and painless. Waiting for it was not. Uh, KV said. I'm just going to say KV because I'm not butchering that, uh, that name. Other people waited in long lines at the airport in person. Two hours, but we were almost there. We're so close. Uh, Ashley said, "Our flight never took our flight never took off from St. Louis yesterday, so I'm pretty confident that it's here. But we're about to find out. Okay, we'll see. Uh, everyone, everyone hoped to find their bag and the sea of luggage. And then another passenger said, uh, "I lucked out. I have a sister." I have a sister, so I'm wearing her clothes right now. Uh, so helpful, but all of the all of the presents are in here. So hopefully, we still have a a little bit of Christmas uh, tonight. Uh, v, 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 uh, v, uh, v said. Airport staff advised travelers to call Southwest Airlines before heading to the airport to make sure. The check bags are there. So yeah, that's that's actually happened to me when I was on a not only on a cruise ship, but that happened the same thing, you know, with the lost bump bag issues happened to me. Of course, when I was at Dallas for podcast movement. Yeah. So I had to wait the second day to get my clothes. I actually had to go back to the airport. To get it. But this is not during a winter storm or a pipe break. So. So I'm not the only one that's struggling this Christmas. I'm not the only one that even though we was on the nice list. It's almost like we sort of got nothing. I wasn't the only one struggling. Thank God. Thank God. I mean, thank the Lord I'm not the only one struggling. And I really like that. I mean, like poor Cody. He couldn't win a game all night. It started since let's make a deal, and then it lasted all the way to card shots. I mean, my God. It was like me when I was struggling to win games for two weeks. And I would feel like what Cody was doing or what Cody was feeling. Two weeks until I finally won on classic pressure luck of all things. Of all things. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Okay, now for the easy stuff. That I don't have to look at the uh, uh, a website or anything like that. The easy stuff. Okay. <sighs> Hopefully I was getting some food today. After I unmercifully had to wait and I was like eating cake and I was eating like a little bit of bread and the last part of jelly, which is not really Christmas trimmings. But it was bread and it was jelly. That was it. Nasty tap water. That's it. So, I was doing my time on on Friday, doing my time on Sunday, doing my time Christmas Day on uh, on uh, Sunday. You know what I meant. Uh, you, you know what I meant to say. Christmas Eve, Saturday, Christmas Day, Sunday. Today, I checked on Walmart.com. To find out if I could ever order my items so I could hold until Tuesday when Meals on Wheels will not forget about me because they're coming on a regular schedule, regular time. It's not a holiday. They won't forget about me. They'll leave my package on my door so I can get it later. So, would I be able to get an order from Walmart? Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Not only is this affecting the main store that I picked on on Maywood, 
but it's affecting stores on St. Louis. So imagine you live in St. Louis. You're trapped in the snow. You're snowed in. You couldn't get out or you don't even have a car. You, you, you get, I mean, you're snowed in. Imagine that. You can't even get a delivery or not even a pickup. You can't. What's the point of even ordering online if you can't even get a pickup or a delivery? What's the point of ordering online? What? What is the point? And the sad thing about it is, I may have to forego my, my plan to get in test day or land, which is was, was another part of my plan. Not only to either get Walmart or I could go Santa Claus. I had to go to the May- Marywood store myself, Maywood store myself, get the stuff that I need. Because I still got to finish preparing for Puffest. So. Oy, 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 oy. So what's going to happen when I get the $75 and the uh, Himana food card? Would I be able to use it on uh, the, the weekend after New Year's? The week after New Year's? If that's what it is? I have to wait to use the $75. And I can't use the food card at Sam's Club. I can't even use the food stamp card on Sam's Club. So I'm stuck waiting until Wednesday. I have nothing to hold me over until tomorrow when, when, when Meals on Wheels come. Nothing. Unbelievable. So, then I tried Instacart, okay? So, I tried Instacart, because now these you, you can use food stamps. The problem is they still make you use a, a credit debit card or even PayPal because the food items that may not be supported by food stamp, you have to pay extra with that. I only have $23 in food stamps. They wanted $26. For three items, twenty six dollars for three items because of the ser- the do- the doggone service fee and some kind of tax. Oh my god, this is ridiculous! So now I got to starve yet another day because I can't get access for food. Access denied. Access denied. I have food stamp, but I can't use it because I don't have a way. To have an extra twenty six dollars. Access denied, denied, d de- fucking denied. Okay. So Walmart, no good. Intercard, no good. Starve another day until Tuesday. Great. I'm running on empty. Now I gotta eat bread and peanut butter. That's it. Ran out of jelly. Another easy one. Scammer! And also escorts. But this one it was just an escort because she was trying to gain my trust a couple of months. Finally told the truth because I did, you know, did not, um, you know, test her for a while because, you know, I've been depressed and, you know, I was doing other things. You know, like doing my podcast, been playing with DFP and uh, all that stuff. And then so finally I said, okay, maybe I'll go back to uh, another person who might want to see me. Sure enough, she told me it was, no, she told me she was an escort. And um, I got to go back to, yeah. Uh, I'm going back to one of my emails to uh, say that, uh, uh, oh, God. I don't have the one with the name. Oops. No, that's not it. That's not the one with the name. Uh, shoot, not it. Oh, where is it? I can't even find it for the life of me. I don't, I don't know what the name. Okay, okay, okay. All right. I don't know what's I don't know what's going on. Uh, I had the name. Now I gotta go into my picture to find it. Great. Uh, I'm just scared I won't be able to play it this on YouTube so that I could uh, 
give everybody the NFL. But come on, I can't even get everything out. See, this is what I get when I can't have food. And I'm even, see, if I was a car and I'm low on gas and you don't get me to the gas station on time, guess what? Your head is going to be stranded. Okay, here's her name. It's, uh, her name is Kelly Bella. Kelly Bella. And her Twitter name was uh, O U N O O N U H two, I guess underscore destiny. And then her her profile said and claimed, "I really want to make new friends and her and be loved by everybody." As she claimed to be by Washington, live in Washington D.C. and and also like that. She had seven followers and 125 followers. Now, I mean, to think that, you know, you didn't know that a person is a scam. It's all on dating sites. It's all on Twitter. It's all on Facebook. It's everywhere. Dating scams. But now, escorts that they want you to pay. You know, escort is not not even uh, uh not even legal in Las Vegas. Oh yeah, it's not legal. It's everywhere. It's legal in uh, other parts of Nevada, but not Las Vegas. Yeah. But I want a wife. I want a wife. I don't want to pay for love. And then somebody says you could go to jail. You could go to jail. So <sighs> unbelievable. Unbelievable. Kelly Bella, you're fired! There you go. All right. Now, I've already planned the week, se- uh, the week 17 NFL pickup. So, because it's always so long when I try to get the teams, get the times of the game. I decided to, to be a little bit more organized. Okay, so here we go. Thursday night football, 17-15, Cowboys versus Titan. Cowboys head, Titans heart. And then we're at the regular games on Sundays and on Monday night football. So here's all the 12 p.m. game. Cardinals versus Atlanta. Cardinals heart, Atlanta head. And there's a ride or die pick Dolphins over the stupid Pats. Uh, Eagles is a ride or die over the Saints because the Saints have been having a horrible season. So there's two ride or, a ride or die games at 12 o'clock. Uh, Colts, Hearts. I mean, shoot. Colts, Giants. Oh my God. Colts is Hearts. Giants is Heads. Long shot. There's another ride or die. That's that's uh, three ride or die so far at twelve o'clock. Panthers over Tom Brady. Please, Panthers win this game. And Chiefs head Broncos heart uh, option during that game. And options meaning the same thing as hard, but even if I don't care for the team, I can still put them into the pick. Option is just another one, but it's not hard. So, Lions, Bears, or the Bears, Lions head, Bears, I put them in the option because the Bears are having a terrible season this year. I don't know what is going on. And I have a couple of passes, I believe. I know I have one pass, but I'm going to pass on the Browns and the stupid commanders because only the Browns is not winning any game. They may want to have won a few, but that's about it. And then they have to be playing the commanders. One of the stupidest names in the NFL or football in general. It's not a scary name! So I'm not picking between the Browns and the commanders. It's a draw. Okay. All right. Enough said about that. Texas versus Jaguars. Texas head, Jaguars heart. Okay, the three hundred five game takes us to the Raiders and the Forty ers Raiders head, Forty ers hearts. 
Jets versus Seahawks. I'm going with the Jets at the head and the Seahawks at the heart. 325. Vikings versus Packers. Vikings head. Packers heart. Another draw. Refuse to pick. Stupid Rams. Stupid Chargers. They're both from L.A. L- uh, well, not L.A. Yeah. Yeah, L.A. Yeah, they're both from L.A. No way. Hey, that rhymes. L.A., no way. <laughs> that rhymes. How did I wind up getting a rhyme in there? Anyway, Sunday Night Football, 730. Steelers, Raven. I got Stevens at the head, Raven at the heart. Monday Night Football, 7.30, and Your Honor, you're going to really like this, uh, Your Honor, because I got the Bills at the head and the Bengals at the heart. And that is your Week 17 prediction of the NFL Pickup. For everything that's happening in the Big D Country, escape to BigDCountry.com, escape to BigDCountry.com, join the amazing power line at livegoodtour.com slash Big D Country. A lot easier than that other company that I was trying to do. livegoodtour.com slash Big D Country. A whole lot easier. I love easy. Why the thing had to be so hard? Why the thing had to be so graduate level? I know how to graduate. I couldn't even complete college because of money, 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 money. Always have to worry about money. Yacht! 2022! Yeah! Fire! And I was niceless. Why did I get nothing for Christmas? No food. I was on the nice list. What the hell? I was on the nice list. Come on. <sighs> See you on the next podcast. I'm going to cry now.